Hello, this is Sanat here, and welcome back to Model Kit Monday. Today we'll be taking a look at the Gundam Barbatos Plus Smoothbore Gun Metallic Gloss Injection High Grade Iron Blooded Orphans Kit. Now this kit was an exclusive to the Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans Season 1 Blu-ray DVD Combo Pack Limited Edition Box Set released by Funimation in North America. And this is an exclusive kit. First of all, you do notice the Funimation tag, but you also notice the added picture of the Barbatos with the smoothbore gun as well as a mobile worker with the original Barbatos art here in black and white. A lot of the exclusive kits in Japan for either premium Bandai or, or shows or anything like that, they'll have the black and white box. This one's a little different because while a metallic gloss injection Barbatos was released, it wasn't released with the smoothbore gun or the mobile worker. So that was an added addition to the Funimation release of this. So I think it's really cool that North America got an exclusive gunpla of some sort. Um, which is just really awesome. So uh, it is a high grade 1 to 1 44th scale. Uh, you'll notice in the box, uh, which is pretty nice, is that it does actually say uh, it does have everything in um, katakana and in English. So everything there, it says this item is attached to Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blooded Orphan Season 1 Blu ray DVD combo. Um, there's no pictures on this side, even though it says that. Uh, you got that there. Along the back, uh, there's no UPC or anything, so it says not for sale, basically. You're only supposed to be able to get this inside the Barbatos kit um, at normal retail. Um, so overall, there's that. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got inside. Let's pull the lid off here. Um, we got one, two, three bags of parts, and one instruction sheet. So the instruction sheet here, uh, this is actually not the standard Barbatos one. Uh, so it doesn't have any of the full color images showing the kit off. Um, but it does have, once again, Katakana and English. Um, and I think this is because it's a special printing of, you know, here we got to add in the, the instructions for the smoothbore gun uh, in here as well. So there's that. Uh, pretty pretty basic, kind of boring uh, instruction sheet. Um, we'll just uh, pop these open here. Uh, Taking a look at the runners. Uh, here's your standard polycap runner, PC02. Off to the side. Uh, here's runner D, which is the red parts, as you can see. Very nice, very nice metallic gloss. Uh, kind of catches the light. Interesting. Um, runner C, yellow parts. Might kind of get a nice gold, goldish yellow. Uh, runner E is the blue parts. Let's see. We'll open this bag next. So you can see here we have the uh, decal sheet for the smoothbore gun, as well as runner A1. Now A1 is the actual smoothbore gun and the um, mobile worker. This is basically the same as the one in the Iron Blooded Orphans uh, MS Worker or MS Option Set one. I think is what it's called. Uh, it just doesn't have the other weapons. It would be for the Greys. Um, and it's uh, here we have runner A2 as well as runner A1, so it's a little confusing because it's just reprint, but you can see um, these parts have more of the me metallic gloss ejection, while this being the frame doesn't, um, which is perfectly fine. Uh, so put that there. And in the last bag, we got runner B, where you can see the metallic gloss is all over the place with the white plastic, looks really nice, and the decal sheet for the Barbatos itself. So, overall we got, uh, let's see, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine runners, plus uh, decals, and the instruction booklet. Uh, so, really cool. Um, this kit should go pretty quick for me, since I've built four Barbatos already, <laughs> of various degrees. Um, you know, that's just how it goes when you get the Gundam Barbatos, and you love Iron-Blooded Orphans. So, anyways, I'm going to get this all built together, and then we'll take a look at uh, the Gundam Barbatos plus Smoothbore Gun Metallic Gloss Injection. All right, so here is the Metallic Gloss Injection Gundam Barbatos. Now, looking at the kit itself, it is very similar to the regular Gundam Barbatos. As you can see, it is the same basic shape. Now, full disclosure, I totally misassembled this arm here, which is the alternate arm, quote-unquote. Uh, it's actually the one that the Barbatos had at the beginning of the series. Um, I misassembled it. It should be the other way, but... I put the parts backwards, and then I was like, oh, should I take it all apart and try to fix it? And I was like, you know what, I'm never going to reuse that arm again, so, oh well. Overall, though, the plastic usage is really good. Um, I think that 
the metallic gloss injection doesn't look that impressive when you look at it from uh, pictures online, but looking at it in person, it really does look nice. Uh, I've tried to get the right kind of lighting here to catch the shine that goes across all the parts for the kit. Overall, I think it looks really, really stunning. Taking a little bit closer look here, you can see how there's sparkles of a uh, glitter type look within the blue. Overall, it's a really nice look. Uh, I think the white probably doesn't pull off the effect as well as the reds, blues, and yellows. Um, but overall, it looks really good. I've done no painting on this kit, so this is all stickers, including these terrible stickers on the back vents here, which like to peel up, because anytime a sticker gets folded around something, it just it just doesn't work very good. Um, but overall, really, really nice looking. That being said, uh, the overall look isn't going to be drastically different than the original Barbatos. It's, it's just a very shiny, metallic version of it. Now, with this being the first version of the Barbatos, uh, Bandai wanted to show off the armor gimmick for the Iron-Blooded Orphans high-grade line, where the fact that they have inner frames. So it actually does come with an alternate arm, like I said, um, which just comes off here. And then it can match it matches the other side basically. Um, it doesn't have the weird little shield thing. So you got that. Uh, you also need to swap the hand because you know what? They only give you they only give you two hands in this set, um, which honestly it's it's not the worst thing. Um, I don't really think the regular Barbatos needs open hands as much. I think the Lupus having its open hands included only with a uh, parts kit that was kind of annoying. But regular Barbatos I think is just fine with the closed hands. Uh, so we'll give them the shoulder pads here as well, which just kind of completes the overall Barbatos look. Uh, in terms of the articulation, uh, same as every other Barbatos, uh, because it's the same frame, I uh, got the ball joint neck, uh, two ball joints at the top and the bottom, thanks to the polycap system. Uh, full ball joint shoulders, they actually do pull forward, uh, or they pull up more so. Um, the shoulder pads like to pop off if you're not looking if you're not reviewing this on camera the shoulder pads will stay in place they move up this moves up uh, this moves forward the swivel there a full uh, beyond 90 degree elbow which is really nice uh, full ball joint in the wrist you can even pull it out a little bit so you get kind of a further down hand pose uh, the, the there's a joint here so you can kind of tip it back tip it forward a little bit and there's a ball joint at the waist but it's really you know it's a standard ball joint polycap um, the legs full out, full forward, um, not so much back just because the skirt doesn't move back here, but the skirt does move here. Uh, it usually is connected as one piece. You can cut it and separate it uh, like I've done here. Um, you got a thigh swivel and a really nice double knee joint, which looks really good. And then the really impressive ankles, which has a full ball joint there, and it does tilt, it does tip, and it looks just really nice. So Barbatos is like, once again, this is one of the best high-grade kits ever. Um, and, now, and now it's just in metallic colors. That being said, what makes this version of the kit special is really in its weapons. So we're just going gonna to run this little guy here. I'll just give you a 3D turnaround. So in terms of weapons, um, he comes with the normal uh, Gundam hammer, the Gundam mace. Um, depends on what you want to call it. Uh, I, I've seen it called mace and hammer. I'm going to go with Hammer, just because it calls back to the old Gundam Hammer from Mobile Suit Gundam as well as Turn A Gundam. Uh, so, you know, there's that. It has the awesome Katana, which I don't remember him using that much in the series in retrospect, but it's part of his moveset in Gundam Versus. So there's that. And that was what originally came with the Barbatos, but you also get the Smoothbore Gun, which was originally part of MS Option Set 1. It's a nice cannon here. This is storage form. So you can just kind of peg onto the back of the Barbatos. But you can uh, take this part out, slide it in here the other way, and now you get the full cannon with a handle that does move. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, you get the mobile worker, since it was on the same runner as the gun, I guess they decided, yeah, let's just throw in the mobile worker. Which is nice, because I, I, I always could use more mobile workers. I'm um, still ashamed that they don't mold these in a different plastic color other than gray. You notice this is kind of loose, I'm not really sure why. And then lastly, you get the two extension pieces for the smoothboard gun to plug into the backpack of the Barbatos in a way that I don't remember seeing much in the series. So there's all that. Let's take a look at those weapons on the Barbatos itself. So as you can see, uh, the smoothboard gun, the Gundam hammer, and the katana um, all fit into the backpack. 
Uh, the Gundam Hammer and the Katana can actually be both on there since they give you two clips. But the Smooth Bore Gun is just into one of the holes. Um, basically, kind of just works. You just kind of plug and play. Um, which is pretty nice. Uh, you could have this facing down if you want. I don't know why I put it up. I just thought that would look cool. Um, but yeah, you got a few options there uh, for storing the weapons, which I really like when a mobile suit design lets you store the weapons of the mobile suit when you're not using them. Uh, in case you're just using like the sword or just the hammer, you can have like the sword and the gun hanging out on his back. So here is the smoothbore gun. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of really big and cumbersome, and it doesn't help that the instructions do state to use this little piece to connect the back part of the barbertos to the gun to kind of have like this weird connection system. I don't like it at all. It restricts the articulation. Uh, you do get two of them, so you get like a shorter one. But even then, it just it limits what you can do with this kit. I much prefer to set the smoothbore gun free. And when you can release the smoothbore gun in a way that it's not restrictive at all, there's just so many options. You can flip it around with that, especially with the handle that alternates back and forth, and you can just get more dynamic poses. So overall, I do respect your wishes, Bandai, in wanting to create a system where it has a realistic connection to keep the gun supported, but I'd much rather have this. Here's a quick comparison between the regular and metallic gloss injection Barbatos. Uh, it looks really good here, and it looks really good here. Uh, it comes down to a matter of preference, I guess. Um, personally, I think that I like this for being show accurate. I like this for being a special uh, metallic color. Um, overall, both both kits are just still really fantastic. And overall, that's pretty much all there is to the Gundam Barbatos Metallic Gloss Injection. Uh, it's a really nice looking kit, but it's not one I'd necessarily try to track down if you're not already planning on getting the Iron-Blooded Orphans Limited Edition Blu-ray. Um, speaking of, you do get these pieces, which they say... Oh look, it's a backdrop, but it's not near big enough to really kind of contain the Barbatos in any cool pose. Even just standing still, this this backdrop here, it's hard to make a good pose out of it. Um, so while they're neat, and I do like the inclusion of the idea, eh, it could be a little bit better. Um, now, for those of you wondering, is this going to make buying the Iron-Blooded Orphans Blu-rays worth it? Uh, probably not. Uh, the thing is, the Barbatos and even the MS option set that comes with the smoothbore gun, they're not very expensive, even now. And overall, I'd say if you're going for the Iron-Blooded Orphans Blu-rays to begin with, you might as well buy the limited edition and get this kit. It's a cool kit. Um, but if you weren't planning to buy Iron-Blooded Orphans on Blu-ray, I don't see this as being something that would sway you into being like, oh yeah, I need to buy this big limited edition. Um, definitely say that if you were already planning on buying the Iron-Blooded Orphans Blu-rays, might as well get the limited edition set. You'll get the cool chip poured box, and you'll get this awesome kit. Um, it's a nice inclusion. It's something special for those of us that are fans of Iron Blooded Orphans, fans enough to buy the show on Blu-ray, specifically in a limited edition. Um, but in the end, it is just a Barbatos. Uh, I This is my fifth Barbatos now, so I've gotten pretty good at building these. Um, and I do really like it, and I think it's a great bonus, and I love the fact that we did get a North American exclusive Gunpla for the first time. Even if the exclusive part is the fact they packed in the smoothbore gun, but you know... I'll take what we can get. I think that it's awesome that Bandai of Japan actually went ahead and did this for the American market, uh, which is just awesome. Uh, yeah, overall, I really like the Metallic Loss Injection Barbatos, and I would recommend getting it if you were planning to get Iron-Blooded Orphans on Blu-ray. But it's hard to say if you should go for it outside of that. Um, if you're getting the Blu-ray, it's a great bonus. If you're not, probably a pass. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the return of Model Kit Monday. I'm planning to keep this series going. Um, hopefully, next Monday, I'll have another review. So keep an eye out. Um, I definitely like talking about Gunpla and Model Kits in general. In fact, next week's review won't be a Gunpla specifically, but it'll still be Gundam-related. Because when it comes down to it, I don't buy many Model Kits that aren't Gundam-related. That's just how I am. So anyways, be sure to check out Hero Club for all of your Gundam news and more. And until next time, this is Sound Out saying goodbye.